Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are looking at the 2018 free response questions for AP Calculus AB. We're looking at number four here. So the height of a tree at time t is given by this table. It's a twice differentiable function h, where h of t is measured in meters, and t is measured in years. Selected values of h of t are given in the table above. Use the data to estimate h prime of six. So I don't have a data at six. Six would be right between here between 5 and 7. So I'm going to use a secant line slope. H prime of 6 is about equal to h of 7 minus h of 5 divided by 7 minus 5. That's secant line slope. Change in y over the change in x. So that's uh, 11 minus 6 divided by 2. And that is 5 over 2. 5 over 2. And we'll leave it as a fraction. It's fine. Uh, this top was measured in meters, and t was measured in years, so it's meters per year. And the interpretation of this number um, is that the h of t is growing, the, the tree is growing. At a rate this at t equals 6 years. So when it's six years old, it's uh, growing that fast. Explain why there must be at least one time t between two and 10, such that h prime of t is equal to two. So I need to find a secant line slope where the slope is two. Yeah, because that's by mean value theorem. Mean value theorem basically says that there's a tangent line slope somewhere, as long as it's continuous and differentiable, and that's true because it's twice differentiable. Um, so where is the slope? So this slope is fun. This is four, right, right, right here. See, this is it changed two years. It went up four. So this slope is here because I because I know so I know h of uh, five minus h of three divided by five minus three is equal to two, right? By mean value theorem. That implies there's a time t between actually just 3 and 5 where h prime of t is equal to 2. Okay, So I actually have a narrow window. So I was just looking for a time where the slope was, was 2. Use a trapezoidal sum with the four subintervals indicating the data to approximate the average height of the tree over the time interval. Okay, So the average height So h of t average, sorry, the average height is equal to 1 over the interval. The interval is 2 to 10. So that's 1 eighth integral from 2 to 10 h of t dt. And we can approximate the integral. So the 1 eighth, but I'm approximating this integral by a trapezoid sum. Trapezoid sum is I take the width of the interval and I multiply the average of the height. So just take the average of these two. So I'm going to do 1 half of 2 plus 1.5. The width is 3 minus 2, so that's 1. Then the next interval is 2 to 6. 6 minus 2, and the interval width is 2. Third one is 6 to 11. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, these are not differences. This should be adding the average of those two, and the width is uh, also 2, plus the average of 11 and 15, and 10 minus 7 is a width 3. So this is 1 8 times uh, 3.5 over 2, plus uh, 8 over 2. No, this 2 cancels with that, just plus 8, plus um, this cancels with that, plus 17, plus uh, this is 24 over 2 is 12, 12 times 3 is 36. Um, so this is 1 eighth, and let's add these up at least. This is 25, uh, 25 plus 36 is 61. Sixty one plus three point five divided by two. 
That's 1.75. Um, I don't know. I might just double it. So I'll make this 1 16th. So I'll multiply by 2 over 2. So if I multiply everything inside by 2, I have to divide by 2 to cancel it out. So that's 122 plus 3.5. Man, this is kind of annoying. Um, should I multiply by 4? So this is 125... Point five over 16, or multiply by 2 again, it's 251 divided by 32 feet, or meters. Jeez, I am fading meters. Okay. Good. Let's see. So... That was kind of annoying, um, but yeah, there's no other way to do it. Um, the height of the train meters can also be modified by the function g, where g of x is given by that, where x is the diameter of the base of the tree in meters. When the tree is 50 meters tall, the diameter of the base of the tree is increasing at a rate of 0 0.03 meters per year. According to this model, what is the rate of change of the height of the tree with respect to time, the time the tree is 50 meters tall? Um, okay, so I want to know what dg with respect to dt, I take the derivative with respect to time. Here I can do quotient rule, so I'm going to do 1 plus x. Derivative that of 100x is 100 dx dt minus the, so bottom times the derivative of the top minus 100x times the derivative of the bottom, that's just dx dt divided by 1 plus x squared. So what are they trying to do? What is the rate of change in the height of the tree? I want to know what this is when all of these x is the diameter. When the tree is 50 meters, the diameter of the base is increasing. So I know that um, d. Oh, do, 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 do. I wonder if this simplifies. Because I don't know, actually know what the diameter is. When it's 50 meters tall. Oh, 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 okay. I can actually figure out x. So um, because the height is um, 50, I need to know what x is. This is the problem. But I could solve this. So this is 50 plus 50x. Because I just plug into the original function. This is this has to be 50, so I need to find what the diameter is. So x is one, one meter. So I'm going to do two times 100 times dx dt. Dx dt is 0 0.03 minus 100 times one times uh, 0 0.03 divided by one plus one is two divided by two squared is four. So that's um, 200 times 0.3 minus 100 times 0.3 is 100 times 0 0.03. That's 3 over 4. Okay, that is meters per year. 3 fourths. Okay, let's take a look at the answers for number 4. 5 halves. Two. There exists between three and five. Yep, the average height is. Oh, I just I don't know. It's so annoying that I, I just two sixty three. I just did the math wrong. I didn't get two sixty three over thirty two. I got really close. Did I set it all up right? Two six two two. Two six two two. Then six eleven two two. 6, 11, 2, 2, and then 11, 15, 11, 15, 2, 3. Oh, 36, 17, 8, 9, 10. I don't know what I did wrong. I did that. I just I I must have just done the 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 algebra wrong here, or the arithmetic wrong. Eight over two. So this is an eight. This would have been seventeen. This would have been thirty-six. 
gosh. I, I find it super annoying that they actually ask this question like this to just require an annoying amount of arithmetic on a problem. But whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You could use a, you. I know you can't use a calculator, but uh, apparently I just couldn't add these numbers up correctly. Um, 263 over 32. We got pretty close, but so I lost a point for the sum. Um, I got three fourths here. So everything else was right. I think I did the, everything else right, the process right. I set it up right, just couldn't complete the arithmetic correctly. But hope you found that helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.